Well, I will say this. I know where you're going with that. I understand it, and you're right. Now, they got nine wins two years ago, but they only played ten games. Fair, so yeah, fair. So that's to say that they've only got nine wins. That's kind of misleading. But that said, uh, they do have to get to a different level. And I think the first thing you have to do is uh, have some uh, more luck with health. I mean, they, you know, they beat Alabama last year with a backup quarterback and with two uh, true freshmen in the offensive line and a true freshman quarterback and, you know, some other issues at receiver. Uh, and, and you know what? They were good enough to go out and win a game like that, but they weren't good enough with those injuries to be consistent. And then you saw that in, law, in you know, some of their losses to LSU and, and Ole Miss and uh, Arkansas and, and, and like that. So uh, I think if they can stay healthy, uh, you can say that, of course, just about any team. Uh, everybody looks better if they're healthy. But A&M really had more uh, injury problems than – then maybe uh, a lot of people that doesn't c- cover the program realize. So if they can stay healthy uh, and not have as many injuries in the line and a receiver and definitely a quarterback, uh, then I think they can uh, come into this year feeling like they have a uh, legitimate chance to contend in the West. Now, would I pick Alabama to win the West? I absolutely would if I was in Vegas and had to make that pick. <laughs> but... Yeah. Um, but I do think that uh, if they're healthy, that A and M has a team that, or, or projects to have a team that's good enough to, uh, you know, to contend. And I think A and M's all uh, their their goal all along uh, since they've been in the SEC should have been to try to become uh, Alabama's primary threat in the West. And you know, this might be the year that they are. 